Hi everyone, my name is Kevin. Today I wanna to show you how you can share a folder or a hard drive that's on one computer with all the other computers that are on the same home network. It's actually pretty easy to do. So let's say for example that I have a drive or a folder on this computer and I wanna make it available so I can get to it on this computer. It's actually very simple to do and I'm gonna show you step by step how you can do this. And as full disclosure, before we jump into this, I work at Microsoft as a full-time employee. My HR department requires me to say that anytime I talk about Microsoft products and Windows 10 is a Microsoft product. All right, well, let's jump into it. Here I am on my desktop and I wanna make some files available on my laptop. I use this hard drive here, my G drive. It's a two terabyte hard drive connected to my desktop. And I wanna make these files available on my laptop. Now, let's say these thumbnail images, I'll click into this. These are all my thumbnail images for YouTube. Yes, I take these funny pictures of myself all the time, anytime I wanna create a thumbnail. And so here you kinda of see a little bit of the behind the scenes of how I do things. Now I wanna make these available on my laptop because I don't like just sitting at my desktop creating thumbnails. I'd rather be on the couch uh, and create thumbnails from there. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I wanna make this entire drive available so I could get to it on my laptop. So what we're gonna do is first off, I'm gonna go ahead and click, right click on the G drive. And what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go down to the option that says properties here at the bottom of the list. Let's go ahead and click on that. And then this dialog pops up and it has all these different options across the top. What we're, what we're interested in doing is I wanna share this with my laptop. So we're gonna click on the one that says sharing. Within sharing, it says it's not currently shared, but there's an option here for advanced sharing. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. And within here, I wanna click on um, share this folder. And here the share name is just G because it's my G drive. I could also click into permissions and here I'm allowing anyone to access it. And I could give full control where people can um, add new items. They could delete existing items. They could rename things. Uh, you could also uh, simply set someone to change, uh, but I'm just gonna set it to read so they could read the contents here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on okay. And then I'm gonna go ahead and click on apply, okay and then I'm gonna close this. So right now I'm sharing my two terabyte hard drive. Now what we're gonna do is here I am on my laptop and I wanna get to that shared location. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up File Explorer and what you could do is here in search, I'm simply going to type in Explorer and it'll pop up right here in my app list, File Explorer. Let's go ahead and open that up. So here's File Explorer, and what I wanna do now is at the bottom here, I'm gonna click on the option that says Network. And within Network, what you'll see happen is it now shows all the computers that are connected to my home network. I have two machines, I have my laptop, and then I also have my desktop. The files that I wanna access are on my desktop, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on my desktop, and there it goes. It pops up all the folders that I'm sharing on my desktop. Now what might happen is, it might prompt you to enter in the credentials to be able to connect to that machine. So what you wanna do is you wanna type in your username and password for the machine that you're connecting to. And then once you type those in, that'll allow you to access the network drives. I've already done that, so it simply showed me all the shared folders. Within here, here's the G drive that I just added, so I'm gonna double click on that. And now I see all the folders that I have on the other machine, and I'm gonna go ahead and click on thumbnail images. And then here too, I now have access to all of my thumbnail images on my laptop. And so just like that, I can very easily and quickly get access to all the files from a different computer that's also on my home network. It's pretty simple to do. All right, well that's how you share files very easily from one computer to another computer just like that. You can share a folder, you can share a drive. Either way you wanna do it, you can very easily share contents with other people or other machines on the network. If you were able to successfully share something, uh, please give this video a thumbs up. If you wanna see more videos like this in the future, hit that subscribe button, that way you'll get a notification anytime new content like this comes out. And lastly, if there are any other topics or videos you wanna see me cover, on this channel. Leave a comment down below. I read them all and I'll add it to my list of videos to create. All right, well, that's all I had for you today. I'll see you next time. Bye.